What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 8 Ultimate Wired Controller for Xbox. Now this is actually compatible with PC, the Xbox Series S, Series X, Xbox One, and Xbox X. That's definitely a lot of X's, but when it comes to the new Ultimate Controller, this is something I've actually been looking forward to for a little while now. I'm a huge fan of wired controllers due to input latency, and you know, Xbox with their original controllers does a pretty decent job given that we're connected over Bluetooth or 2.4 depending on what you're using. But I've been looking forward to a good wired controller, and I think they might have ticked all of the boxes, at least what I was looking for. We've got full customizability over the sticks, triggers, and buttons on this using their Ultimate Software Suite that can be installed on Android, Mac, or Windows. And right out of the box, it feels great in the hand. We do have these extra buttons back here, plus linear triggers, and there's four vibration motors in this unit. So we've got one on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side, right in the palm rest. And it also has what some people call impulse triggers. I'm not sure if that's a trademarked word from some company, but overall, we do have vibration motors in both of the triggers, left and right. So it gives us some nice haptic feedback. And personally, I love this for racing games. When you're hitting the brake, you'll feel it. When you're hitting the gas, you'll feel it. Or if you're in the FP, games, it'll also work through that. It's got a 10 foot cable on it and this is just a strictly wired controller. We can't unplug that cable and go wireless with it. This is exactly what I was looking for. That way we're always connected over a hardwired connection to whatever device we have this plugged into. We also have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the bottom here along with a mute button so we can plug our headset right into the controller. And you might notice we do have a few extra buttons here when you compare it to a stock Xbox controller. We'll go over that in a second, but we've also got these three LEDs here. And this is going to indicate what profile you're on because we can set up to three different profiles on this controller and totally customize the buttons, sticks, and triggers using their ultimate software suite. I will walk you through using that along with updating the firmware. It's actually pretty easy. But first things first, I wanted to get this directly out of the box, plug it right into my Xbox, and see how it performs. And yeah, I mean, that's it. That's the beauty of these wired controllers. You plug them in and they work. So we've got our Xbox button here. It also has a screenshot button built in. And let me go ahead and get into a game. I'll show you that in action. Press it once, screenshot, just like the controller that comes with your Xbox. So yeah, this does feel really great in the hand. I love the design of this thing. I'm using it on a Series S, as you can see here. This is kind of my go-to little console. Got this sitting in the office. We've got these analog triggers, and I do prefer using these over the stock Xbox controller analog triggers. It seems like it's just much easier to get that control out of them. And we've got a little bit of an overlap on the back of the trigger, which I think is definitely helping out. We can give it a little bit of gas, or we can go full blast with it. It's really up to you. But for racing games, this is something I personally really like. Same thing with the left trigger. But so far, so good. Analog Stick's working great here, and you know, I kind of expected it to be a great controller. 8 has been making controllers for a very long time, and they do take community feedback to heart. And they have released a lot of controllers in the past. Some of them weren't great, some of them were absolutely amazing, but I think they've taken all of the good stuff and all of the community feedback and put it inside of the Ultimate Controller here. This just feels really good. I also wanted to test this on a Windows PC, and what I have here is the Nook 12 Extreme, also known as Dragon Canyon. And by the way, you can actually win one of these right now from Simply Nook. I'll leave some links in the description. If you're not familiar with Simply Nook, they specialize in all things mini PC. From business applications to gaming PCs, they've been around since 2015 and their headquarters are located in Round Rock, Texas, so they're right here in the U.S. This giveaway is running from May 26th to June 3rd, 2022, and if you want to enter, all links are in the description. They're going to handle everything on their end. They're the only ones that are going to be contacting you about being a winner if you do end up winning this awesome mini PC. But yeah, all I had to do with this controller to get it set up was plug it directly into this PC. It detects it as an Xbox controller and you'll be good to go. As long as the game supports controllers, you can use this thing. And of course, I also wanted to test it with a little bit of emulation, and while we're here, we can actually test that D-pad with a fighting game just to make sure we can pull off some special moves. And I'm using the Dreamcast version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 with the ReDream emulator. We are upscaled on this mini PC. And since we've got a wired connection, I mean, there's zero input latency here. And the new D-pads that 8 uses on their controllers now work absolutely amazingly. 
So yeah, we're good to go with emulation. And with the Redream emulator, I didn't have to do any kind of setup because it detects it as an Xbox controller. But now I want to show you how to customize these buttons here and update the firmware on the controller. Like I mentioned, this does have updatable firmware like all of their new controllers do. Uh, first thing we need to do is download the firmware updater from the website. So we'll head over here to support. I'll leave a link in the description. We want to go to the upgrade tool. We're going to download it for Windows because I'm on Windows right now. Also works for Mac. We'll extract it. And this is really easy to use. So we'll just start it up. As you can see, my controller is not connected yet. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Give it a second to initialize. And as you can see, it's detected the ultimate Xbox controller. Firmware updater. There's nothing available. We're on the latest update. So there will be firmware updates for this controller, I guarantee it. Just uh, keep checking back on the website. The next thing I wanted to show you was how to fully customize any button on this controller. And we can do that with their Ultimate software. Their Ultimate software is available for Windows, Mac, and Android. Obviously, we're still on a Windows PC. I've downloaded it. I've got it installed. And it's known as the Ultimate software. My controller is still plugged in, so here it is. Already detected it. So this is really cool because if we take a look at the controller itself, we have three LEDs right on the front. We can map three different profiles to this controller. It'll save it internally on the controller's memory and we can swap to them on the fly. So profile one is going to be my first LED on the controller and we're right here. We're ready to modify profile one. If we head over here to buttons, it's got a list of everything we've got on the controller. And let's just say I wanted to swap out B and A for old school games. I'm going to change B to A, I'm going to change A to B, I'm going to sync to the device. And it'll give you an on-screen prompt here. So once I press that, my first LED on my controller is lit up, and we're now using this custom mapped profile. I didn't change much at all here, so let's go ahead and move over to profile number two. From here, again, we've got the buttons that we can map. We've got the sticks, and this is highly customizable here. So we've got our left stick and our right stick zone. So right now they're maxed out. As you can see, if I move the left stick on my controller, it moves on screen for me. And we've got a lot to work with here. We've got a very linear path here. We can take this all the way down, kind of changing that analog zone. If I set this all the way down, basically no matter how much I move this analog stick, it's going to go to 100%. This is something I usually won't mess around with. I kind of like having that nice linear action all the way across, but it will come in handy for some people that need this. We can also invert the X and Y axis. We can swap the sticks all together. You can swap the D-pad and the left stick, and you can totally disable the dead zone. Truthfully, I'm not exactly sure what this would be good for. If you've got an idea, let me know in the comments, but as soon as we click on it, it's going to tell us, yeah, this is probably going to cause drift. We have no dead zone whatsoever. So yeah, I want to turn that back off. Triggers, again here, fully customizable. And uh, yeah, if you just want it to be on and off, turn this all the way down. But I play a lot of racing games, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it just like it is. I think it's set up really nicely. We can swap triggers. And finally, vibration. Now with this, we've got four different motors in this controller. So we've got our left vibration motor, our right vibration motor. We can turn this down all the way to zero if you don't want any kind of vibration at all, all the way up to 100%. And we've also got vibration motors in our left and right trigger. Some people call these impulse triggers, and these are actually really, really powerful. I mean, it's actually pretty crazy how powerful they've made these. A lot more than the Xbox controller itself, and again, for racing games, Really love having this turned all the way up, but this might be annoying to some people and they may want to turn it down a bit because it's actually a really powerful little motor in that trigger. So yeah, it's really easy to totally customize the buttons and triggers on this controller using their ultimate software. And we've got three profiles that we can customize. So we could set this up for FPS games. We could set the second one up for fighting games and the third one up for racing or whatever you're into. You've got three to work with here and it's really easy to get these synced up. So yeah, I mean, I could definitely say that this is an ultimate wired controller for the Xbox and PC. With the ultimate software, we're able to totally customize all the buttons, triggers, and analog sticks. I love the feel of the D-pad like it sits right out of the box for fighting games. It works really well. 
and overall build quality is top notch. So, you know, if you're looking for a good wired controller for your PC or your Xbox, I can highly recommend this controller. They do make it in three different colors. We've got the white version, which I have here, black, and they've also got kind of a pastel pink, which does look pretty good. But I chose the white version just to go with the Series S because this is my main little console, like I mentioned. It's just always around, real close, and easy to get to. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in learning more, maybe pick one of these up. I will leave a couple links in the description. You can get it on Amazon right now. And I'll also leave the link to the official 8 website so you can learn more and download the firmware updater and their ultimate software. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.